Japan's vibrant and colorful culture often hides a more troubling side that many visitors never see. For example, did you know that having tattoos can often prevent you from entering public pools or bathhouses? In a country where work culture is intense, it's not uncommon for people to be so exhausted they end up sleeping on the streets, or in extreme cases, disappearing to start anew elsewhere. So, what happens when Japan's enchanting traditions collide with harsh realities? Join us as we uncover the unsettling truths behind some of Japan's most intriguing social issues. 1. Maid Cafes Japan's maid cafes are a uniquely Japanese phenomenon, markedly different from similar establishments around the world. Emerging in the early 2000s in Tokyo's Akihabara district, these cafes feature waitresses dressed in maid costumes, who serve customers with a playful, subservient attitude, often referring to them as master or mistress. Primarily catering to the otaku subculture, these cafes offer an immersive experience reminiscent of anime and manga. With around 60 maid cafes in Akihabara alone, this trend has become a staple of Japanese pop culture. They provide a cozy, whimsical setting, complete with creatively presented food and interactive services like games and personalized greetings. Yet, behind the charming facade, a darker reality lurks. The working conditions for maids in these cafes are reportedly stressful and demanding. Many young women working in these roles experience high levels of anxiety and some even suffer from panic attacks during their shifts. There is intense pressure to maintain a certain physical appearance, maids are expected to remain slim and are strictly prohibited from gaining weight. This fixation on appearance reflects broader societal expectations and adds another layer of stress. The hierarchy within these cafes also complicates matters. Foreign maids often find themselves at the bottom of the hierarchy, facing discrimination and additional hurdles despite their efforts to fit in. Furthermore, the customer base sometimes engages in demeaning discussions about the maids online, reducing them to mere objects of fantasy rather than recognizing their humanity. While maid cafes are a distinctive and popular aspect of Japanese culture, they also perpetuate traditional gender stereotypes and commodify fantasy in ways that prompt serious questions about their societal impact. As we delve into the darker aspects of this industry, it's important to consider the broader implications for the young women working in these environments and the cultural forces shaping their experiences. Do the whimsical allure of maid cafes overshadow the challenges faced by the maids, or does the pressure and discrimination they endure alter your perception of this cultural phenomenon? Share your thoughts in the comments below. 2. Discrimination Japan is often lauded for its hospitality and politeness, but beneath this surface lies a society grappling with deep-seated discrimination. Known for its homogeneity, with over 98% of the population being ethnically Japanese, this uniformity presents challenges for those perceived as different. One such group is the hafu or half-Japanese individuals. Despite having one Japanese parent, many hafu are treated as perpetual outsiders, perceived as foreigners in the only country they may have ever known. This alienation is more pronounced for those with Korean or Chinese heritage, due to historical tensions that continue to fuel prejudice. Black hafu, in particular, face harmful stereotypes, with assumptions about their abilities or interests, such as being naturally athletic or drawn to specific music genres. Discrimination in Japan is a complex issue, deeply rooted in the nation's history, culture, and societal norms. Ethnic minorities like the Burakumen and Zainichi Koreans face social stigma and economic barriers tied to their unique cultural identities and historical marginalization. Zainichi Koreans, descendants of Koreans brought to Japan during the colonial era, continue to face significant challenges, particularly regarding legal status and employment. Non-Japanese residents also encounter prejudice, often struggling to secure housing or jobs, with some landlords and employers refusing to serve them. Gender discrimination persists, with women experiencing a significant wage gap, limited career advancement opportunities, and workplace harassment, reflecting entrenched traditional gender roles. Although LGBTQ individuals may find more safety in Japan compared to some other Asian countries, 
they still face social stigma and lack legal recognition for same-gender relationships, despite gradual progress in urban areas. While Japan's struggle with discrimination reveals complexities beneath its polite exterior, the nation's innovative spirit, evident in its high-tech gadgets and luxury items, offers a glimpse into how it balances deep-rooted traditions with modern ingenuity. 3. Privacy Concerns and Technology Japan is known for its inventive spirit, producing a range of creations from the practical to the peculiar. For instance, Japan has developed a cooling spray that offers instant relief from the oppressive summer heat. This foam can be applied directly to the skin or surfaces, showcasing the Japanese knack for innovative solutions to stay cool. Another inventive product is the fan jacket, a piece of clothing featuring built-in air conditioning, ideal for those working outdoors in hot, humid conditions. Japan's creativity extends to unique items like overtime work stickers, which signal that someone is working late and requests not to be disturbed. Additionally, Japan boasts a luxury fruit market, offering rare items like the exquisite white jewel strawberry in square-shaped watermelons, which can fetch tens of thousands of dollars, making them extravagant gifts. 4. Japanese Yakuza The Japanese Yakuza, a notorious organized crime syndicate, has a long history dating back over three centuries to around 1612. They first caught the government's attention in the early 1700s and are organized into tightly knit families that reflect the ancient samurai codes of loyalty and honor. Some believe the Yakuza may have originated from bands of rogue samurai known as ronin. Their activities are varied and often illicit, including extortion, blackmail, smuggling, drug trafficking, gambling, and loan sharking, with operations extending into businesses like restaurants and bars across Japanese cities. Yakuza members are distinguished by their elaborate tattoos, which often carry deep symbolic meanings but are usually kept hidden under clothing to avoid attention. Another identifier is the missing pinky finger, a result of yubitsum, a ritual of finger shortening imposed as punishment for misconduct. The Yakuza reached their peak in the 1960s with over 184,000 members, but recent years have seen a significant decline to around 40,000, likely due to stringent laws introduced in 2011 that prohibit financial transactions with gang members, making their operations more challenging. The association between the Yakuza and tattoos has influenced Japanese society, contributing to the stigma surrounding tattoos. This stigma results in many public places, such as hot springs, public baths, pools, gyms, and some capsule hotels, having strict no-tattoo policies to deter gang members. Historically, tattoos were used as punishment during the Edo period and were banned during the Meiji period, 1868-1912, though the ban was lifted in 1948. Despite this, the stigma persists, limiting access for those with tattoos in certain public spaces. 5. JK Business in Japan, the term JK business refers to a range of activities involving high school girls interacting with adult male customers, often under the pretense of offering companionship or services like walking or chatting. The acronym JK stands for Joshi Kusiai, meaning high school girls. These activities extend beyond the school environment, as many girls participate in various forms of work where their youthful appearance is marketed as a commodity. Akihabara, famous for its electronics and gadgets, transforms into a vibrant area at night where young girls engage in part-time jobs to earn extra income. Compact bars adorned with colorful decor become bustling spots where these girls perform J-pop songs, captivating audiences with their lively and cheerful performances. The spectators, mostly working-age men, enthusiastically engage with the performances, resembling a rock concert atmosphere. The use of high school girls' images has been a long-standing marketing appeal, flourishing in Japan since the 1990s. Anime and manga often explore relationships between high school girls and older men across various genres, from dark and mature themes to innocent romantic stories. Idol culture has expanded into numerous media and entertainment sectors, including advertising, magazines, movies, and music.